Welcome to Northwind Computing's Learn WordPress and about three minutes video series. Okay, in today's video, we're going to learn how to insert a post into a WordPress website, and we're gonna learn how to use the more tag and how to link, especially how to insert um, an image link or an affiliate link and an iframe. And so first thing we need to do is make sure we're on the dashboard, and then we're gonna hover over the post main menu item in the menu on the left, and I am right-clicking on Add New. So I'm putting in a new link. I'm using the Firefox browser. And so here's the completely blank canvas. Now there are four things that I want to do. One is I need to add um, the uh, title. This is a new post, and we can tell, tell about everything we want to about this. Um, and so that's step number one. Step number two is I need to select one or more categories. In this case, I'm going to select a main category or a parent category and a first child category. And that's step two. Step three is that I need to set a featured image. Now I can grab that image from my computer or in this case, I'm going to upload it from the media library. So you just need to find the image. You can search up here if you know the file name. It's a lot easier that way if you have a lot of images. Um, or uh, just simply find it. And when I've decided that I have found my image, I just click show. And all I'm doing in this case is using it as a featured image. So I'm clicking the link, use featured image. And I'm totally getting out of this little pop-up window. And so you can see that here's a, uh, an abbreviated um, featured image under the featured image uh, category. And now I'm ready to add all kinds of stuff into this blank canvas. So I'm going to paste from Word. So I'm simply copying, which is Control C on a PC keyboard. And I'm not going to immediately paste but I'm going to paste as plain text. So I need to click the, um, the plain text icon, which is really the third one over, font size, paragraph, and plain text. And I'm pasting using Control V, as I'm nicely told, on a PC keyboard. It's different than on a Mac. And so select Control V and simply insert the text. Now I'm going to need to do all kinds of little formatting, like get rid of this extra space which Word put in. And I can do all kinds of things, bold and um, italicize, change font sizes, anything that I want to do. Now, so we have created a post. Uh, from this point, we could add uh, images, uh, add videos, uh, do about anything that we want to. I'm going to get rid of this little hint, which brings us to the point of uh, part of this tutorial. And that is how to use the more tag. So this is going to display on page with uh, pages with posts um, at whatever the program is set for. In this case, um, it's going to append at about uh, 80 words, I believe. And so if this were a lot longer, it would only show the first 80 words on the page with posts. And then um, if anyone went ahead and clicked, they would get the full post. But I'm going to use the more tag, and so before I need to do that, I need to tell WordPress that um, this is really a full post. It's not an excerpted post. And so once I click the display as full post, we're normally excerpted. Um, I kill the, uh, uh, the part of the program that would cause conflict with the uh, more tag. So I'm going to decide that um, I'm going to break at uh, the next paragraph. So I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the first paragraph. And I'm going to come up. I'm going to hover over because it's going to tell me what it is. Insert more tag. And that's what it looks like. So I'm really done with that. I've inserted a more tag. And the only other thing I want to do is link to something. So if I have an affiliate link or link to uh, any URL for that matter, I simply need to highlight the word or words that would be the foundation for the particular link. And then hover over the link button, add the link, and I can simply paste the link into the link URL, whatever it might, whatever you might want to use under URL. So I'm not going to actually do that, so I'm going to exit right out. 
And I just want to say one more thing, and that is if you have an iframe, anything that's not a URL, it's going to uh, connect directly to some other website, you want to use the HTML tag. Let me scroll up here so you can see the full page. So click on the HTML tab, uh, tab which uh, shows uh, all of the text and everything else uh, on top of that. And so I want to make sure my cursor is maybe a couple of spaces uh, down, space in between here. And here I would go and I would uh, uh, copy the entire iframe, which is going to begin and end with um, uh, angle brackets and have iframe right in the beginning, and it's going to have all kinds of other junk in between and end with the angle bracket. So an iframe is going to look uh, kind of like this mishmash, something a little more meaningful. So I'm really done. From this point, I can uh, preview the post. That's the preview. There aren't any images, but if there were images or videos or uh, links to affiliate sites or anything else, they would show up here. Um, I can save the draft and finish it up on a rainy day, or I can go ahead and publish, and we're all set.